It's just a very informal thing. Okay, cool. Perfect. In. Test, test. Right. So, my friend, I for you forgot your name. Ar Amir. Armand. Armand. Armand, okay. Cool. So, uh, so Armand. Just tell me a little bit. Um, welcome, and to my to my YouTube channel. And in general, um, so you are a software developer, quite a good one. Yeah. Uh, you told me that's why we came together here. And exactly. your ambition is obviously to um, do more work, to do better work, to grow in your abilities. And it may also go to Germany or something like that. So tell me a little bit about that, where you're coming from, mm -hmm. what your situation is at the moment, mm -hmm. and what, what your goal is for the future, basically. Oh. All right? So, so um, basically, like, um, I'm originally from Iran. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I was born in Tehran. And um, now, at the moment, I'm living in Budapest. Mm -hmm. So, Hungary and working as a night shift receptionist at Dormero. And then uh, my main goal is uh, to live my life as my potential, as what I can do. That's the most important so, thing. So, yeah, exactly, as my parents said to me. Truly makes you happy, basically. Yeah, exactly. So, because you would feel satisfied that you are using what you're gifted for, what, what you're having in your pocket. Anything else will, you might regret in, uh, later on? I might regret the fact that. You know, uh, I wasn't happy in my everyday, you know what I mean? Like, for example, if, if you are doing what you love, you're happy. Yeah. You're not suffering and you live a happy life. So my main point is that. So to do what you love every day, a new challenge, something that keeps you motivated, keeps you, you know, on the road, on the right way, that I will live my life perfectly. Happy, yeah. never get tired and yeah. stuff like that. And most people that get older, that when they die, they regret exactly. the things they could have done, but they didn't do because they were so too scared. Yeah, exactly. Too scared, not risking it all, yeah. and never get out of your safe zone. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's a fact. If you want to, like, for example, be better, you got to risk it. Yeah. And it's, it's not an easy thing to do because human mentality was based on as long as you're safe, you're feeling good a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to risk it all to lose everything. Yeah. But my life is just like um, I want to do it. Like life is too short for that. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So, That's also, point. Some, some, sometimes some people um, in Germany, especially, they always try to be safe of everything. And, safe. And yeah. It's, uh, it's like the, the international term German angst, mm -hmm. which means German fear, it's even, even the German term, it's like an international known... Uh, international yeah, they, they, they rather not risk it, like yeah. actually... Uh, but it's an illusion because... Yeah, it is. So, because they, there is no such thing as no risk, it's just that no. um, um, sometimes, it, I mean, it is not about that, it's about basically uh, to assess the risk and then take the right decision. Yeah, well, uh, the the word risk it has I think deeper meaning than that. Like for example, we have two different type of risk. One of them is like stupid without even any research. You do something out of the blue. You like go toward yeah. towards that, and you know that it's a stormy sea. You're gonna sink in there, but you you're still going through. And that, that's a stupid one. That's a childish one. So that's what you have to be afraid of. But there's another risk that, that you know what you're going through and you have a good feeling, good guts about that. Mm -hmm. Even though everyone would say that, all right, doesn't have a future, but you deep inside yourself, you have a feeling that, I know it might take some time, maybe nobody would believe in me, but at the end, I know that it must end well. And that feeling is the feeling, I think, that you got to risk it for. Because uh, that's not a feeling that comes for, like, for example, without any reason. Yeah. If, if we weren't born with that potential, that feeling would never exist in us. That's why every, each person has its own potential feeling of doing such a specific thing. So tell me a little bit more about how, how you got into computers, I guess. Ah, it was just... Age oh, well, <laughs> the computer part. All right, so... It was always in you. Uh, uh, pretty much, like, my, my father is, like, a really, really um, handy person. Mm -hmm. 
and he used to fix everything in our house and stuff like that. So uh, exactly my uh, uh, exactly uh, those old uh, uh, nothing he couldn't fix. Exactly anything, anything in the family, everything was broken. Like computers, like. Yeah, anything, <laughs> anything. Like, it, it's weird for me. And imagine that the fact that uh, at that moment uh, he was a lawyer, mm -hmm. but he was really a handyman yeah. and. <laughs> And then he could fix everything stuff. And then once my uncle came from US and he brought a Toshiba old laptop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was the only laptop that we had. So I have to take care to not to break it down. But at the same point, I know that my dad could fix it. So I risk it all. Okay, so yeah. I fucked it up a hundred times, like going through everything, you know, without mistake, you wouldn't learn. So okay. I did so many, and I realized that kind of like it. It's hardware that if you want to fix it, it's interesting, and software at okay. the same point. Okay. So little by little, that time I was going to airline school. It was my elementary school, HOMA. Mm -hmm. It's a really airline, big airline. And uh, we used to have computer classes. And at that moment, I was the most like first step student in computer everyone else were really good their parents were rich have so many computers and i was like all right so i want to do this i want to i want to prove to them that you know something like that so exactly so even without like not having that much money with one pc at home fucked up laptop you know i want i want to do it i want to learn it so i went through that and uh, I, I learned it all and uh, when i came here at the age of 16 studying medicine uh, it was the highlight point for me to make it better because the only job I could get was regarding to this computer, Excel, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was only in English because at that point I was living in Page. It's a really smaller city, student city in Hungary. So mainly in there, if you want to work at any place, you do need in a uh, Hungarian language, which I didn't know at all at that moment. Yeah. So. Another point was the push of the life to go through this computer stuff. So to get job, to, you know, fool my stomach, pay my rent and stuff like that. So the push of life was one point. The other point was what I liked. And uh, after time to time, you know, when, when the time passes, you don't feel it because you like it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you open up your eyes, you see that, damn, you're good with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I moved to Budapest, and here, whatever is happening about computer, about yeah. anything, I connected to the central server, mm -hmm. fix it up for them every time. Okay. Done. It's busy, so, so okay. it's cool. So you're very full round, uh, and, uh, In here also. Yeah, it's, it's what I like, actually. It's, yeah. it's, I can say that, for example, because with that type of job, I realized one thing. I was traveling two times. I could bring my computer and work anywhere that I want. Okay. I can bring up my computer going for a road trip. With, all I need is just internet. Okay. And I can be flexible. Okay. So that's the thing that I want. I don't want to be bounded to an employee lifestyle waiting up at 7 a.m. making my boss happy. Yeah, We're all human beings. Yeah. We should make ourselves first happy. Yeah, so yeah. that's a point in my life. So I want to be independent like a free bird, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I want to have a good job, stable lifestyle. Okay. So, so that's the point. Uh, what, what is your pool position now in, 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 the, in, the, in the present? And, uh, no worries. Always happening with my second alarm clock, just in case I, I miss the first. <laughs> Um, so, so what's your what's your present sort of like uh, pool position? Is it like a core skill you you trying to maybe a website or programming? Website programming. Right, website like programming. Like um, Angular. And things like uh, that. Angular, like, PHP, yeah. like uh, front open and source. back, and exactly all all together plus yeah. the phone application. The what? Phone application. Okay, what, what is it again? Like making application for the phone. Like for example, ah, okay, once, okay, once phones. I wear exactly for mobile phones, once mm -hmm. I made an application for library, for library and like something like that, some sort of stuff for audiobooks. Okay, okay. So there's, there's some sort of companies that uh, they give tasks to other people to record their voice mm -hmm. and they want to put it all together, you know, audio with pod ah, podcast. Yes, so I made an application for that. So yeah, that, that's a really important uh, yeah. thing because we can now soon we're going to get like 
voice, Google Voice, everything like exactly. you know, Amazon Voice, everything is going to be changing again. In, in, in voice, voice, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And later on it would change to visualizing, mm -hmm. like, exactly. So, mm -hmm. so it started from typing, touching the voice, then it's going to be the five cents, I feel like, I don't know. But like, uh, it's, it's a crazy cool stuff that's going on. But like, yeah, step by step, the board is going through. So that that's what I I feel like uh, regarding to the fact to not to fall behind, you got to keep continuing with the technology. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting how people then optimize their websites. If everybody is not searching anymore by keyword, but by voice. It's by voice. So much more yeah. I mean, at, at that, yeah, it can be difficult, but plus, yeah, exactly, plus it's it's getting more and more convenient, but at the same time, the privacy is getting more and more lesser. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? It's just like. Before you had only um, in Gmail, but right now with your Gmail you can connect to everything, all of your social yes. media. So the privacy that you had before is not existing anymore, yeah. but at the same time it's more comfortable. So you lose something, but you get something else at the end. Yeah. Like, but for some people it works, it, some people it doesn't. So that's why everyone was saying that, oh, Mark Zuckerberg like, cover his camera, this, that, that. Mm. So it's regarding to your priority. <laughs> like, you choose to be comfortable with the voice thingy and stuff like that, which is coming out, or you choose to be more private. So it's, it's yeah. going on still. Yeah. I, mean, that, I, I don't think certain things are going to happen anyway. Yeah, that's and right. No matter what the people want, want or think. Exactly. Right? Because you know, back then when the car the first cars were invented, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people said, "Well, I want to keep my horses." You exactly. Know? But it didn't matter because in the end of the day, they disappeared anyway. So that's right. And. Um, I mean, I mean, the time, the time would like pass on fast. Exactly. So there's, would, there's, there's some, there's some more powerful element than uh, just people individually think. Exactly, they, they and want to keep or whatever, that, know. that's that's a point. Like, like the individual thinking should, yeah, the, must go away. Technology yeah. advancement is much more. Powerful. I mean, the whole point of technology advancement is what to keep people together, like united. So the the whole point of internet all around the world is what. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just to connect people together to be united together so the borders are wouldn't matter anymore? Mm -hmm. I can call right now to US to my mom, dad, like anyone, my best friend back there, anything. Yeah. So the whole point of this technological thing is to make everything more comfortable, easier, so we can connect together, we can we can communicate with each other better. Mm -hmm. So that that's the whole point that we're going through. Like uh, that's why like individual thinking wouldn't wouldn't stand anymore in the future okay. but yeah that's 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 my point so mobile application uh, i do mobile website website front end development yeah front yeah exactly website development i do plus hardware like also fixing yeah i can fix computers also so it's like more or less the present so um, if you look at the future let's say you know how old are you know i'm 24 so yeah like that, so if you look like it's a because too much in the future is really uh, um, difficult at these days to be yeah. too, 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 for too long in the future. Exactly. But let's say for the next two or three years, where would you see, where would you see yourself in the next two or three years? Um, you mentioned also oh, well, yeah. Germany maybe. Or I mean, that's, that's a cliche question that everyone asks actually. Yeah, yeah, so. But it's uh, important because with no goal, um, you lose it. Oh, yeah, without a goal, you, you don't have a, like... Yeah. Uh, framework of life actually so yeah uh, for for myself i would rather see myself in germany or in the us but i like to work with german companies and there is a main reason for that because as i told you also like a lot of relatives of mine are living in germany as well oh, okay. and i like to live there and i like their mentality about timing hard work and stuff so of course every community has its own negative parts as we talked about they don't want to risk Germans like usually as, as you said but good points but they're honest on a framework working hard mm. and they want to do as they've been told not more not less exactly like that so that's the thing that I enjoy and uh, yeah I, I would like to see myself in such a community so it, it can be Germany or Japan or I don't know like US between these two three countries mm. and uh, definitely I would like to start up a company and then, then this company would provide a whole 
system for the hotels because right now when I'm working in this hotel industry I see that there's a high need of maintenance that is a technician 24 7 with an application connect to the net server and fix it up at any point of time so there's a high need of that and I want to go through that like I see that people need this so you need to give them in order to start up a business so I want to start up a like a backup supporting IT company specifically for hotels and mainly programming a program for like uh, for the hotels for check in check out and stuff like that that would be generalized enough that you wouldn't need two three for example for example before android or ios comes up mm -hmm. it was like this like or before Google comes, we had other websites also. Well, how come Google got so big? Yeah. How come, for example, iOS or Android, boom, or the Windows as well? Because they find out what's what people they need, and they focus on that, and they generalize it, made it better by spending time, money, and energy on that. Mm -hmm. So they made the quality, as I said. So I want to do the quality part, because it matters for me a lot that people are happy. For example, right now I'm working with um really system that when it gets a little bit messy it doesn't work anymore yeah uh, it's it's just funny for me it's just it's imagine stable. it's like yeah it's it's, it's it's not stable at all like imagine 40 like 43 or 50 hotels let's say what, what, right? what do you think that is is it the no, it's, it's the database the, uh, the, the database and the internet like speed of that is yeah. different so the central part, which is located in Berlin, should have a really powerful d database of that. And the program that they are spending money on it, they bought that program because it's like renting. You have to rent it. You have to pay money, for example, for Windows that I want Office mm -hmm. on that. The, the program that they're having like right now, they don't want to spend money on the IT program to, to make it better, more developed, and more smoother. But that's the difference between iOS and Android iOS is focusing on what? To be smoother and safer. But anything else is the same. You do the same thing. I have iPhone, I have Messenger, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. For example, you have Samsung, you have Android, same thing. But what is trying to be focused on the quality of safer and smoother. And that's the thing that we should focus on these things in the hotel industry. Because later on, as you can see, right, like exactly the check-in time in airport, mm -hmm. everything would be online. Yeah. So if everything would be online and every individual want to check in themselves without any reception because this reception job would be disappear soon. It's like it's like sixth uh, auto rental. You can certain types of cars. You can now exactly. Airport, you don't need to queue anymore. Exactly, no so queue. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. This so this is one of the most advanced systems. It's not the perfect yet. Uh, it's, it's advanced. At least they do things. They try to make it yeah. work. That's that's the point. So, yeah. so in the future, in early future, you got to see like the next ten years. And what we are dealing right now. Mm -hmm. So I see that the receptionist job is going to disappear, definitely. <laughs> so what, what is going to be indeed, we need a hell lot of ID support that when people have problem with it, they call a number, they're going to be available to fix that up mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. So I want to focus on that in my okay, future. Okay, okay. So that's, that's the thing that I think it has a bright future on that. And uh, plus, like, uh, make an application, do that, that. For example, for Airbnb these days, we are having it. Like, for example... Booking.com gives you a code. You go put the code. You go and sub. It has a ro lot of errors also. Mm -hmm. So much error. So in order to make it better, the quality better, you need time so people can trust. Mm -hmm. Booking.com ten years ago it was just a normal website. Now it jump off the page. It dazzles. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. Yeah. So you, I, I need time for that, but I, my main point, I want to go through that because mm -hmm. that's the point that I'm working and I realize what's a problem, what's not a problem, and how I can make it better. Kind of have a sort of an opinion in my mindset. Just the thing is that I got to be first experienced enough, help from the people that they are like also professional in their own field, for example. I need to discuss with a really professional lawyer how to make a company in that field. Second thing is that I need to ask for like really professional like marketers, business people, 
how to make it, how to advertise. Because that's not my field, so I cannot risk it like that. It would be a stupid risk for me because I don't know something and I want to do that. It would be even a waste of time. Exactly, waste of time and like stupidness. So I would rather spend the money on professional people that they do that so they can help me in this field and build up a team that can go through. And right now, as I told you, like I kind of made a team for software engineering, stuff like that, which is my family members, my best friends, my brother and stuff like that. We are all together getting a really big project, dividing the money regarding to the amount of work that we are doing and stuff like that. So kind of this, this point has been started up a little bit before. So this team should be bigger, better, more professional, more, you know, on the page official. Mm -hmm. You know, not just like, okay, we are friends, we are doing it for, for fun. You know what I mean? This is not going to work like that. Yeah. Brohood is brohood, but business is business. Exactly. That's the point. So you got to keep it more professional. So that's that's my whole point. That's why I wanted to risk it all, even though I know that, for example, I'm I'm just a reception here right now. But I would.